As the beach season comes to an end, there are more calls for better ambulance service. Well, tonight, we have the second tragic story of a heart attack at a Long Island beach where the victim had to wait for an ambulance from the mainland. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff is demanding answers as we follow up on our exclusive story. We all were listening for the sirens and they weren't getting any closer. Sitting on a bench named in memory of her late husband, Vicki Carter, recalls the agonizing wait for an ambulance. More than a half hour. Seconds counts, minutes count. We don't have the luxury of waiting 40 minutes for an ambulance to arrive. They'd been camping at Cedar Beach when 54 year old Tom Carter went into cardiac arrest. Crowds gathered to effort CPR while an ambulance was dispatched from 11 miles away. To think that we have to wait for a volunteer ambulance service to come from the mainland to come to assist during a crisis is absurd. Three years later, she's fighting for a designated ambulance on Long Island's barrier beaches. Speaking out after Seeing this petition created by another widow. Marianne Milady's husband died last summer, leaving a concert at Jones Beach. State Park Police administered CPR and a defibrillator to no avail. It took 18 minutes for the ambulance to arrive from the mainland. It's not right. It's not right. This is going to be another tragedy. The basic job of government to keep people safe, especially when you're going to invite them down to your property. After our report earlier this summer, Senator Todd Kaminsky demanded a review of emergency medical response at Jones Beach. State park officials provided this list of life saving equipment and personnel and a proposal to tweak the hours an ambulance is on site. But Kaminsky says that would still create gaps in coverage and contractually, hours can't be shifted. Right now, we're no better off we were after that last tragedy. But emergency medical experts say it's a regional challenge. Long Island's geography makes it tough to cover the summer beach crowds, accessible only via bridges. We do feel that that's adequate, and obviously, under the best of circumstances, we'd like to have an ambulance stationed everywhere with paramedics all the time, but that's not realistic. It's not cost effective. But Carter and Milady believe with beach attendance booming, it's time to rethink the risk. Because it's not just a, a town problem, it's a County problem. It's a state problem. You have er people coming earlier and people staying later. They need an ambulance down here all the time. There's no law requiring an on site ambulance at beaches like there is at concerts and sporting events. The widows plan to spread the word about gaps in coverage Sunday when they take part at Jones Beach in a heart walk. On Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The New York State Parks Department issued a statement saying in part that it has extensive emergency medical services systems in place to rapidly respond to patrons and staff at Jones Beach State Park. And for more information, you can find the full statement on our website, cbsnewyork.com.